my name is Amora, and um, I guess this is my application video to join you guys in the loop. Um, hopefully. <laughs> so, I have always enjoyed music. I have always enjoyed it. It has had such an impact on my emotions, on what I believe in, and ever since I started performing for people, I got a feeling of pure happiness that I could not match with anything else. You know, it's just such a surreal experience that I completely adored from the bottom of my heart. And when I realised I could create music, something that was so unique to me in words and melody, and actually perform it and also produce it and have someone listen to it and be like, oh, I resonated with that, you know, that meant something to me, is even better than that feeling, you know, and um, I just wish that for musicians that sometimes feel like the industry is a competition and that you need to have certain factors, certain things about you that makes you a musician instead of the mere desire to create music, which is what I believe being a musician is. Um, I'm getting a bit carried away. But anyway, um, <laughs> what I hope to learn from these sessions is other people's perspectives, other musicians, what they create, why they create it, and what it means to them. So, you know, I, I just want to learn from the experience of communicating with other people who are interested in the same things that I am. Um, what I can contribute is what I was talking about earlier, my mindset for what I would like to encourage in the music industry, kind of encourage this idea that is not something to be achieved, but something to share with others in a celebration of, you know, identity. And I felt personally for a long time that I didn't fit into this industry because everything that I was creating was really different and now I see that difference as uniqueness instead of something that people wouldn't want to listen to because you realise there's an audience for everything. Um, so I would just like to create a safe space for anyone who feels that they want to put something out there and not feel like they need any validation for what they made, no? Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, da -da -da, an artist that has inspired me. So. I was a massive fan, I still kind of am, of a band called MCR, My Chemical Romance, and I was really drawn to a particular guitarist in the band called Frank Aero, mainly because of his energy that he brought into the shows. He was headbanging the whole time and moving his body and rolling all over the stage, literally, and he just put everything into his performance. And that really stuck with me, and um, it also made him quite a renowned member of the band, and people knew him for that reason. So it gave me the confidence to be like, you know, maybe I'm not playing this perfectly, but it's not the melody, it's not what I'm playing necessarily all the time that is what matters to my audience, to anyone who's listening to me. It's actually the energy that I'm bringing, you know, the, the, the feeling of... I'm enjoying what I'm doing, like this means happiness to me that was actually so contagious and I wanted to bring that to the table. And as soon as I started doing that, I got way more recognition for my music than I had ever done before. So he, yeah, he has been a massive inspiration for me. I've seen him countless times. I've never seen an artist more than this person. And every single time they always deliver. And um, that is what I want for myself and for my music. So yeah, um, this has been four minutes of <laughs> me trying my hardest to sound even somewhat professional. But um, I really appreciate you taking the time to listen to me, to listen to my story and to even take it into consideration for, um, you know, someone that you would want to work with. And yeah, thank you for your time and let me know. <laughs> okay, have a wonderful day. Bye.